Damn, will you listen to that rain come down? Freaking pouring buckets outside. What's going on, YouTube? Hope you can hear me this morning. Coming at you with some more updates today because I've done a lot of stuff in the past week and a half. Um, so before I show you everything, I want to kind of, I kind of want to organize it in my head. I've done the door pop for installation. I've done the back amp rack. At least started a good portion of it. I got the box pretty much all sanded down. I just need to uh, fill in a little bit more target areas. Marked them with a sharpie. Um, I got my seat, my uh, armrest cut with my center console all uh, all pretty much plotted out, cut to cut to length and all that, and all the switches prepared. I got the rear sealed off with uh, panels with fan cutouts ready to put the fans in. Um, mm, that's pretty much, that's not, I mean, that's a lot. It took me a lot of sanding. That's like days and days, and I still have more sanding to do. Oh, and I did more two buys down the side to make it all, every single bit of it, all 100%, um, you know, strong. So without talking anymore, let's go ahead and sh show you what I just was just talking about. Start with the DAR poppers here. I had to take these wires out and run them through the inside so I can run these right here all the way through the inside. My door panel will mount right there and there won't be any wires sticking out to make it teeter-totter on edge. There's the, uh, the door popper solenoid right there. It connects to the handle. So literally when you push, when you will uh, push the button in the center console, hold on. When you push the button in the center console, you'll actually see like a little ghost out here just go I'll probably mess with people in a couple of videos. I'll probably make something about that. It's like, like I don't know. It's pretty cool. You see the door handle pop up, and it's, it looks cool. And it opens all by itself because I put them on these springs right here. So you don't have to, like, push the door. It just does it all for you. Um, these are 25-pound springs. And I had a, a plastic piece, a rubber piece that goes over it, but uh, I, can't, I, I lost it. So I put a metal plate right here. So it, so if it hits metal to metal, it's just going to be this, this strong, uh, I don't know, like eighth inch thick steel. And then going into the cab, you'll start to see all of these small, whoops, um, marker marks with a sharpie. These are just small holes that I'm going to be filling in, like really small. You can't even see that little pinhole. It's just little tiny pinholes that need to be filled in. That's all that is, like the tiniest of all things. Um, you can see I got more marked up up there. But this is all beautifully smooth. Even down to right here, this is all perfectly smooth. It just looks like it might be jagged because of the different materials. We got, you know, Bondo and, and we got a little bit of Sound Edner um, that was sanded down right there. And um, and we got some of that Mudlight Dynatron, which is right here, the, the longer strand stuff. Took me, took me three days. Ow, son of a freaking shinner on that, ow. Yeah, took me three days of sanding so far and I'm not even really close to finishing it. Um, I see I have a little bit more filling to do right there with the Bondo, but I have to go to O'Reilly's Auto Parts today and get myself some more of that. And then, same thing here. I got all this sanded. These are pretty much done. I don't have to do anything more on that. That's per perfectly baby smooth. This is gonna be a real bitch, making this all perfectly smooth, the seams of the wood. But it's coming out pretty good, and it's it's getting there. I'm gonna put a little, uh, you know, a rounded edge on this, or maybe do the same square right that with a, a router a router bit if they make that. Um, one thing I've noticed with router bits, they're extremely expensive. So I've been using the same the same bit the whole time. So if you notice, a lot of the stuff I've been using is is burnt. It's just because it's 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 a it's a dull blade. So I'll show you some of what I mean by that. Here's the start of my center console here. Here's where the uh, tablet PC will be mounted. It'll be trimmed down a little more. I made it bigger just in case. Uh, it just in, you know, I'd rather make it too big instead of too small, so I have to redo it all. Uh, we got the one inch convoluted foam in there. It's gonna be on hinges, so you'll be able to take it in and out. And it's gonna look completely different than this. It's gonna be all finished up, and you know everything will be addressed, and it will look pretty damn good. It's really solid. I think I was fixated on non, like making it not flex a little too much because this this foam is really it's pretty industrial, but it works great. And the iPad does not, uh, uh, the damn tablet does not move, you know, at all. So the uh, the back side here is with some felt. You can either slide it in or out, but I think I'm just gonna put it on hinges so I so I know that it's never ever gonna like come out of there while the the music is playing. So this will go right on top of this like that and there's gonna be beauty pieces of course like this is all very rough still and um you'll, you'll see what i mean by rough you know i got the uh 
the spot for for the pr sound processor, and then here's my uh, my volume knobs. We got my switches for my amps. This will be the uh, the sound processor. This will be the amplifier for the vocals. This will be the bass amplifiers. It's all marked out on the back. My LCD backup camera and uh, 12 volt inputs, USB inputs for the tablet, USB input for the uh, head unit. This will be the uh, the push buttons for the for the door switches. I accidentally said rocker in the JP update video. If you guys don't know, JP came over. We had some dinner. Treated him to some agaves with fried ice cream. It was a good time. I appreciated him coming out. And I'll put a link to the update video he posted on his channel. But I just wanted to show my own subscribers what's going on. Two LED, uh, blah, two LCD voltmeters, the same ones that I used in my van. Um, and I might put something right here. I might put 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 a little something right here. But I'm not going to tell you guys what that is right now. Um, got a little spot for AC power back here. I made a little cubby. And the uh, inverter is right there. So when you open this little door, I, I still got to put a, a, a handle on it so I can easier, so I can open it easier. But um, it just opens up like that. And then there's a little cubby in there that you can you can access this this plug with to 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 do things on the go on the fly. But as you see, it's like see how it's uh you can't really see inside the box. It's just like a little cubby in there. So it's it looks pretty pretty good. It'll be all finished up. It'll be all finished up real nice. I wanted to save as much weight as possible so I, I don't have a bottom on it. And I, I made it raised so there's going to be some air air gaps going down the, all the side of it. And it'll be probably either carpeted on this side and there'll be some fans also. Maybe a fan right here and a fan right here for um, you know exhaust and intake. Here's what the back's looking like. For the, for the This is what I was talking about having to use a, a dull router blade. It's kind of looks a little burnt but that's okay. These are the the spots for the pack LC1s, the rockers, uh, I mean, about, about, about toggle switches, and obviously what I already explained, but I had to go down at least a half inch on all this. This is a, a sheet of three quarter, but I uh, I routed out all that stuff custom. And then obviously what I, what I already told you guys there. And then we got this, which is just a support, a support little piece of wood for the EQ so it doesn't flex at all with the convoluted on there. And let's go into the back, if we can even see it. Yeah, you can see it. We got the start of an angled amp rack. I didn't have enough space to mount all six of my amps, so I had to eliminate uh, nine inches of, of space. I did that by just adding some angles on these. And it's fuck strong. It is. They are strong as all hell. And um, also with the fans I was telling you about, they're going to be mounted right here. There'll be a cavity. There's There's four fans right here but there'll be a cavity going from the front to the back from right here you know when I open my window this thing will just get sucked back with with you know air and it will it cool everything off in the back and I have a feeling that's gonna that work out real good um yeah back sealed off and I guess I can explain some stuff of uh you know the subs we're gonna be mounted you know inverted here inverted there inverted inverted and regular um, just wanted to try something different and, and, and have fun with it and, and I'm learning a lot as I'm doing this got the uh, oh yeah I still have a little bit more filling to do on the side here as you can see it's it's gotten a nice like a round over to it it's really smooth just got to fill in a little bit more and it's all coming together really nicely guys really nicely so we got some we got some tunes blaring I've been listening to some T mic beats as I get down and get busy Got the start of everything right here with the switches and the RCAs and everything like that. Last night was a biage. I was trying to figure out every single RCA cable that I need, and I think I'm gonna be wiring things slightly different than I anticipated. So I'm gonna need like twice as many RC RCAs. So that kind of stinks, but that's all right. I got a really good link to show you guys at CableWholesale.com. It's they got great deals, and like so that's all where I get my stuff for high quality cable. Um, so what's on the agenda for today? I need to go to O'Reilly's. I forgot to tell you guys. Wait, no, I told you that. It was on the phone for like 45 minutes trying to get this part number with the mud light, this stuff. I remember, I'm a real fan of it. Really great. I, I got the Bondo before this, but I've noticed that even though it's a 3M company, this has a little bit more strength to it. Easier to work with, slightly thicker so you can put it on vertical and inverted 
surfaces and it, it won't fall down on you as, as easy as the other stuff even though it is in the bondo like you know category uh, but yeah it took me a long time to find this on the with O'Reilly so I'm going down there today hopefully get that taken care of uh, yeah so that's pretty much it even though that's a lot of stuff to, to, um, gonna try to get some more filling done and some more sanding done and all that crap all right well now this video is going on longer than it has to be. just want to at least show you guys every single thing that's going on. This is going to look real good. I'm going to round off the edges, sand everything down, you know, maybe even paint or carpet it, you know. It's all, you know, it's all up in the air still. You know, I still got a lot of, a lot of work to do. So, um, sometimes I don't like showing midway progress just because there's, there's those people who think it's going to be like that at the end when it's really not. But, you know, there's always those people to hold it down for you being like, yo, man, that's not you, you you whatever you know what i'm saying so i'm really excited really proud very very proud um i'm just gonna let this video you know show you a real quick little i don't know stable shot of what's going on maybe a front front angle like this or something i don't know it's gonna be cool all right guys i'm gonna sign out for the rest of the for the rest of the day here i'm gonna get down and busy gonna head out to the store all right thanks for joining me i'll see you later okay